Hello, my name is Jeff Levy and I'm with Key2 Consulting and I'm going to show you how to extract data to a flat file um, through multi-threading in an SSIS package. So the first step here is to um, set up your thread queue table. Okay, It's just basically a list of tables. We're going to use the Adventure uh, Works database and extract all these tables out the flat file. Uh, a couple things to note here, the extract status and thread instance number are to be initially left null. These will be filled in by the packages as they are running. So let's get right into the packages. So the first package we're going to talk about today is the extract table package. Um, so um, we are going to discuss the first task here, the get first extract table task. This will go ahead and actually grab a single table from this queue and grab it into memory and then um, extract it out to the flat file through this PCP process. The syntax can be found here. I won't go through it now. You can go to Microsoft.com and find the syntax there to go through the details. After that's finished, it'll update that record that it grabbed to success over here. And then it'll grab the next one on the list, wherever that may be. Now, it's important to note that this package, like you said, like you see right here, will be running in parallel, uh, three, three times in parallel, and they'll be all grabbing a different item off this thread queue list. And uh, we will watch that in just a minute here. And we will execute this from our local directory and also from the SSIS catalog. So the other package here we have to note here is the thread creator package. Um, essentially, this is a bunch of C-sharp code inside the SSIS script task. Um, takes a little bit to load here, but um, before it loads, it's important to note that the um, read-only variables here need to be populated um, from the variables and also parameters that you had created. Um, those, again, can be looked on my, my blog, and you can see kind of their purpose and, and what the values should be. Um, so inside the SSIS script task, it's important to note that the um, assemblies and, and the DL libraries are here, and they can be found um, off in this directory here, see Windows assembly. It's not the default directory that opens up when you add references, but it's important to add them or the C-sharp code will not work. Um, the C-sharp code is pretty involved, um, but the core of it, it can be found kind of right here. At this point here, you're going to be generating new threads. Um, you know, I chose number of threads to equal three, so we will generate three threads that are be running asynchronously. Um, to actually extract the files of the flat file. So now I will minimize this and we will actually go through the execution. So the first thing I'm gonna do here, um, I'm gonna save everything and then I'm going to run this guy. We've got three threads that we wanna run through the parameters. I'm gonna run this guy. We're gonna check our files, that's empty. Our thread queue is good to go. Okay, so we're ready to run. And we're going to go ahead and execute this task, and we will watch the magic fly. So you notice there's a bunch of windows popping up. That's the BCP process. You'll notice that there's about three at a time, and that indicates the three extract table packages all running in parallel. Now you notice here my list here is changing um, because my packages are running on the background here and actually producing these extract files by way of this uh, command prompt that you're seeing on the left-hand side of the screen. So this uh, package here, this extract table package, is actually running three times in parallel um, through the C-sharp code and is actually extracting the data out to flat file. And now it is complete. So that was successful. So that was the first way to actually extract data. And then the second way I'm about to show you now is from the integration services catalog. So to do that, the first thing we will do will be to reset our script or to delete these files. Okay, now they're gone. And we will all now, well actually before I delete this, I want to show this to you. You'll see that now that the package is processed, the status is successful and you can see the thread instance number or the copy number, or the number of the copy of the extract table package that actually did the extraction. Okay, see that? I've got one, two, and three, and they're all responsible for different tables, whichever one was first available. So we're going to go ahead and reset our script. Everything is good to go. Now it's now empty. We've got no tables here. And now we're going to actually execute this from our catalog. So we've already deployed this solution. We're going to hit execute the thread creator. And it's important that we change this to true because 
This will tell our solution that we want to execute it from the catalog and not from our local directory. We will hit OK. We will hit Yes to look at the overall progress. And um, once this loads here, we should be off and running. Now let's take a look here. Oh, it looks like the process is already running in the background. A lot of these are uh, being created, as you can see, dynamically. So this time the package is running from the catalog as opposed to our local directory. You will not see any BCP commands. Um, it might be easier to see the thread queue and how it's working at this point. Oh, looks like it's already done. Uh, and you can see the executions. Once this pops up here, let just take a moment. Okay, and you can see here that these last tasks here were the ones that were just created and uh, all ran in about 26 seconds. And we go to our directory and we can see that our uh, files have been created, um, all done in parallel with these three different packages, th these three, 19, 20, and 21, and everything looks good to go. And that is multi-threading with SSIS packages through C Sharp. Um, and be sure to subscribe to our list and feel free to reach out on my blog or email me directly if you have any questions regarding this demo or on my blog itself. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. Bye-bye.